What's up with it, y'all? It's your girl Hershey Kiss, and you're tuning into Hershey Kiss TV. I'm back again with another video. It's very obvious what this video is going to be about. I know the title might ruffle some feathers, but I don't care. I'm going to say my part anyway. A lot of y'all feel like you heard too many people talk about this for a long time. It's okay. I'm still going to give my two cents and tug on some wigs a little bit. It is what it is. So, I was looking at the blogs and the news and stuff, and I saw some stuff about Monique ranting and raving about something and i was just like oh, okay that's just monique you know that's what she be doing she monique in right now and then one of my friends sent me a clip of monique talking real reckless on the stage during her performance and i had never heard her speak like that before so i was just like let me see what this is about and i'm listening to her rant and rave and talk about dl hughley in some of the most disrespectful ways and i'm just like i see what this could possibly be about and then she said some really nasty things about his family members about his wife and about his daughter being sexually abused and stuff and it was just really really nasty and it threw me all the way left so come to find out monique was angry because she found out at the last minute that she was not the headliner for the tour and i just got news for you girl i don't care we do not care girl so i'm trying to figure out how is it that somebody can get on stage First of all, the, these people, the people who come to see you, gas prices are higher than ever before, and they still filling up their gas tanks to come and see you and wait in a long traffic line and park and still buy their ticket and get their hair and their makeup done and get their outfit and all that to come and see you. The people, like the cost of living has doubled in the past 10, 15 years, but minimum wage is still the same but people still find a way to come see you. And when we come see you, we waiting for you to take our mind off of the bullshit that's going on in life. For you to get on stage and rant about how even though your pay was the same, even though you still had to do 30 minutes on stage no matter what, complain about not being the headliner. And that was the final straw for me. I can't honestly say at this point now, I'm done with Monique, I don't care about what she got going and i am um associated with some people on social media who are in the close spaces of monique or they like monique or they've been on tour with monique before or they've been an assistant or whatever and i still don't care she was dead wrong i got to call her like i said a whole lot of y'all who are in other demographics like men and other people who have your two cents it's got to the point that y'all don't even let black women check another black woman when she wrong everything is oh well support black women be there for black women first of all if she was there for black women she would have never said nothing about dl's wife and daughter in the manner and the way that she did if she cared about black women then she would have never done that first of all second of all you're not even in the position to try to get in the middle of black women checking each other on our shit so it's really feeling like you just want to say protect black women just for your health it's giving Walmart Juneteenth ice cream. That's what it's giving to me. Monique should be ashamed of herself. I don't really care too much for her antics and stuff. And it's like, we don't even have to listen to um, Tyler Perry and all of them whisper about you. We ain't got to check for what they feel about you or nothing because we see you being difficult. We're watching you be difficult. Now, my assumption, and I don't know what happened behind stage, if it's true or false or whatever, but my assumption is that Monique is too difficult to the point that they have to lie like she is a headliner in order to get her to show up. And that's what it's giving. They have to lie like she's the headliner to get her to show up. Now I'm all for fighting for equal rights like when you was fighting for Netflix, girl, I really am. But I am not fighting for you to be treated better than others. I'm just not. It's supposed to be all about equality. Your, your sons and your husband are the only ones who are obligated to kiss your feet. The rest of us don't have to give a fuck. And I'm just being honest with you. So I'm down with that situation. Moving right along to Lori Harvey. Um, first of all, Lori Harvey, the news that's going on with her is that Lori and Michael B. Jordan just split up. And everybody is in a frenzy, assuming that it's her fault that they split and she must have done something or she must have cheated or maybe it's because she ain't want to get married and this and that and the third. So I'm not really going to highlight too much about the actual situation because I wasn't there. So I don't know what's going on. 
But I want to piggyback on the conversations that have sparked from this situation. Heterosexual relationships. People saying that um, Lori um, is just doing what a lot of guys are out here doing, which she is. She's just dating around. There's nothing wrong with dating around. What's the rush? What is the hurry? Like, why is everybody in such a rush when it comes to these relationships? Now, the first observation I have to make, and I want y'all to lean in real close and listen to this here. The first observation I have to make is that I feel like there are a lot of men out here who try to apply a relationship in marriage politic, a family politic that would only work in like the, eight, the late 1800s and the early 1900s. And they're trying to apply it on women of today as if that's going to work. We're not our great grandmothers. I was born in 1989. The biggest thing men like to say, oh, women wasn't made like them back then. No, we wasn't because we can actually wear jeans and tennis shoes now. <laughs> we can actually go to school past the eighth grade and get master's degrees and things. And we have choices now. And our fathers and some of our fathers are you are teaching us that we can be what we want to be. Okay. So no, we don't, we don't have to do those things anymore. So now I feel like a whole lot of men cannot stand the fact that the rights that you fought for, women also have, thank God. I hope you want that for me too, thank God. Women also have. So it's putting you in a position where we're not forced into marriage. We're not forced to take home economics and learn how to cook and clean and iron and do laundry. And then next thing you know, at the age of 14, you're looking for your husband. We're not in those spaces anymore. So now, you have to do something that you can't stand. You have to sell marriage to me. You have to make me want to be married. And a whole lot of men can't stand that that's the day that we're in now. The whole polygamy and all of that stuff, that is gone. I was born in 89. I came up in a world that taught me that you can do anything you want to be and hopefully you'll find the love of your life which is only one and y'all will live happily ever after so because this is the world that i grew up in i am not equipped for late 1800s night early 1900s politic no absolutely not i am not made like that so i don't understand what's the frustration with men so with Lori Harvey dating around, it looks foreign to a lot of people who have an old fashioned mindset. It looks very, very foreign to a lot of people. Um, I'm all for Lori dating around. Um, traditional relationships. I have been sexually fluid in my life, but the reason why I will always value traditional relationships is because that is one situation where the woman can actually show up without a table, with no money, with no assets or anything. The woman can actually show up with nothing and win. And that is one of the things that, unfortunately, a misogynistic world that the, the wife is supposed to be cooking and cleaning and the husband is supposed to be working and making all the money has structured for beautiful women like Lori to not have to work and to show up to the relationship with absolutely nothing and win, you know? So if you want to blame it on anybody, blame it on yourself. Men can't stand the fact that we, you know, we, we don't have to, we're not forced into marriage anymore. We don't have to. You can't come up to a woman in 2022 and be like, oh, but where is your man and why you ain't got, who gives, a, who give, clearly the way that we're living is not necessary. <laughs> It's not necessary. So that don't work no more. So now you have to sell marriage to me and want me to be married. I remember when I was a bartender at TGI Fridays and it was these three men, these older men, they were black. I like to call them the three amigos. They would come in and I would make them um, some Lynchburg lemonades, their drink. And they would sit down and talk about life. And every now and again, they'll talk about their wives. That was the subject at one point. And I just remember listening to how nasty they were talking about someone who was supposed to be the love of their life. And I just remember thinking, I'm not sold. Like, marriage may not be something I want to do because if it results in my husband coming to the bar and dogging me out while I'm watching his draws at home, I'll pass. Y'all have to sell marriage to us. Like, for real. And I just don't... 
I don't see why it's taboo for women to be able to date around. Like, I don't get why that's a problem. So for the last part, when it comes to this whole Lori Harvey situation, um, the reason I feel like Lori lost, because I have to play devil's advocate on this one, the reason I feel like Lori lost out on this situation um, with her and Michael B. Jordan's breakup is because Michael B. Jordan is like a thou like he he is the prize when it comes to having a husband. He's black. Y'all can relate to your childhood and the way that you grew up and all of that. He makes a lot of money. He has a career. It's not like he's a rapper and once you turn 40, you gotta find something else to do. Go into real estate or some shit like that. It's not like he is an athlete and once you turn 40, your bones start breaking down and you can't play sports no more. Like he's an actor. He can act for the rest of his life. You know what I mean? So, you know, if she was looking for a husband that would love her and care for her and value her opinion, or anything of that nature when it comes to having family life and children and things, that was him. And at the age of 25, you missed it. He slipped between your fingers and you're not gonna get, I can almost bet that she's not gonna get another Michael B. Jordan. Now, when it comes to other types of relationships, if you want um, just a billionaire with a whole lot of money, yeah, you can get that. You're beautiful enough for that, but just understand most of the time billionaires come in the form of an old wrinkly ass white man and he don't care nothing about you or how you feel you're an item and when he's done playing with you like a doll he will put you back on the shelf or you may not want marriage or anything at all shoot i'd be second guessing myself i'd be like you know what if i don't get married or what if i don't have kids so you might not want to get married at all you know what i mean and, and if you don't then you clearly didn't miss on nothing but if you wanted that genuine love and family light and to be honest, I was rooting for y'all because I wanted somebody to be the example of a woman actually being happy with her man. And if that's what you were going for, you're not going to get another one of those. It's not coming back. And it is what it is. And I ain't never felt like you missed out on nobody before because all the other dudes you was dating, either they was broke or they was ugly or they was old or they had too many children or they had too many women or they got the gout or they got a hook for a hand or something it's always something wrong with them you know what i mean so i ain't never felt like you missed out on about it before but this one right here this one slip slip between your fingers that's all i got make make sure y'all subscribe like and comment i got some more videos coming for y'all i'm gonna be giving my two cents on a whole lot of stuff um make sure you follow i'm gonna be posting a whole lot more often on my page i'm gonna be more active on youtube um, again, it's your girl Hershey Kiss, and you tune in to Hershey Kiss TV.